What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. You might be wondering what this little weird thing is right here. Okay, so I have a window downstairs that I kind of made a little mock-up of this shape because it is a really strange shape for a window. <clears throat> Brought it in here. I bought some laminate, like window film, specifically window film from Amazon. Brought it up here, cut it out to the shape. My better half wants me to put a rainbow of colors. So we have like every alcohol ink that I own right now. Blues, purples, reds, greens, yellows, and one single solitary orange, just all lonely and stuff. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna splash the colors out and dry them into some kind of some kind of cool design. I mean, alcohol inks are pretty forgiving. So we got blue, I'm just seeing where they are on the color wheel. Violet, red, then yellow, then green. Okay. She said a rainbow. I don't have all the colors of the rainbow, but I think it'll work out just fine. So this sapphire blue is a beautiful color. Right now I'm just shaking it up. And I, that's gonna be uh, making all these edges actually stay down. And to be honest, the film might melt under the little bit of heat, but for now, we're just gonna, we're gonna see what it does, cause I am curious. I think it'll actually be pretty cool. I don't think it'll be bad at all. All right, so let me grab this little heat tool and put it on like the lowest setting. What I really don't want is it to just melt the plastic. So I am gonna kinda keep it at a distance. I'm noticing it's not flowing like the Yupo paper did, really. So, I'm just trying to be careful to not melt this plastic. But I feel like if this works, this is something anybody can do. Like if you just wanna have a, a new little look downstairs or upstairs in a window somewhere, or you wanna decorate for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, you can. All right, so that was sapphire blue. I like this Prussian blue. It's also a very gorgeous color. So I just need to... That was a lot, you guys. Oops. All right, so let's get some alcohol on the surface so we can get it moving. And ooh, look at that. That's a pretty color right there. Yeah, I like that. I wonder if if I'm to touch it and kind of get it to move where I want it to move, because it seems to want to dry in the certain spots. Uh, spread the ink out. That's a lot of Prussian blue, you guys, and that's okay. Yeah, it's it's drying very nicely, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me bring that one back. Try to blow it off in a different direction. Yeah, that's a nice deep blue. And the beauty of it is like the majority of these colors, they're they're kind of translucent anyway, or transparent rather, sorry. Um, I don't know what's going on here. It is not, that's not what I'm going for. I wonder if there's a film on this plastic that's making that happen. There might be. Hmm. Well, it's not working the way it did before. That's okay. We're gonna get it to work. Maybe because it's heating up the plastic so much that it's causing it to beat up. I'm not sure. All right, let's let's pick another color. Ooh. This is sailboat blue. Maybe. Maybe it's a brand thing, because uh, the first brand I used was Ranger, which is this blue. And then this was um, Bria Reese, Prussian blue. So maybe it's a, a brand problem. Maybe certain brands are different with each other? I'm not sure. I think I can just reactivate it 
spread it, I'll just spread it out with my fingers on that Prussian blue. And eventually it's gonna get like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of the sailboat blue into this blue here. Yeah, every it just keeps trying to beat away. I don't I don't know. It's kind of different. But yeah, the idea is like just to add a pop of color downstairs. And maybe if I just leave it alone. Or blow it from just a distance, right? Just get enough of it to dry there. There we go. It might be that, yeah, it might be a brand thing. Maybe there's something about that brand that's not wanting to stick to the plastic. I don't know. But it's working now, so... That will cut my color palette in, in half, essentially. We're gonna have some super dark spots, but what I'm probably gonna do is take some rubbing alcohol and just remove that super dark area because you wouldn't even be able to see through that. And that would not be what I want. Let me grab a paper towel from somewhere. The art room is a disaster right now, you guys. With my last project, that is gonna go out on Friday. I'm super excited. Spent about, shoot, five days working on it. So I really do hope you like it because it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was just a lot of work. And then using techniques that I've never used before. So, yeah. Yeah, so we just take, we're gonna pick up that Prussian blue There we go. Huh? All right, so Lake Blue. No, nope. that's that brand again. We have Baja Blue and Turquoise. So I'm gonna take Turquoise just a little bit around this edge down here. And shoot, I might just spread it around, huh? Because I, I do want coverage on the whole thing. Oh, that's working out pretty good, actually. I just gotta keep that bead down. All right, yeah. I'm gonna be covered in alcohol inks by the time this day is over. I am sure. Let me assist it to dry it a little bit. Because you know, everywhere you put the alcohol, it reactivates those colors. So, trying to just spread the inks out just a little bit. Still getting those really cool lines. And it, it's probably gonna look pretty messy when we're beginning. But I do want to add more alcohol to here because that's a really thick section and it's almost a black and that's not what we want. So I'm just going to reactivate it. I'm using my fingers, guys. You probably should wear a glove if you're working with the alcohol inks. It's probably would be for the best if I was wearing a glove, but... Uh, I think I'm all right. Oh, Piper, what are you doing? Don't jump up here right now. You're gonna have blue paws, sir, ma'am. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to dry that out a little bit. We still got some really deep areas of color that I want to spread. Oh no. She's decided to jump up onto the table. Well, that's different. Baby girl, you can't be up here. Thank you. That's a good girl. All right. Yeah, I like the mix of colors so far. That's pretty cool. All right. So we still have a Baja Blue that maybe we can just 
get that Baja blue right in this area. Maybe I'll use a little less alcohol this time. And I'm just going to use my trusty digits again to spread this out. Because I, I, like I was saying, I want it to coat the, the entire piece of plastic here. And yeah, I think we're all right. Now I think naturally I could just let it dry just the way it is probably and it would look just fine. But I kind of like the lines that are formed from causing it to dry quicker than it's ready for. Yeah. So just kind of locking those little lines and striations in place. That's so cool. Awesome. Let's see, what are we doing now? Where are we at? Might focus more on just getting, building out the whole piece first, and then we'll get the nitty gritty details. So this is a purple. It looks very dark, but it is also just very concentrated. It's probably very highly pigmented, and that's probably what it, what it really is. Yep, I'm gonna have um, Skittle-colored fingers today. That's okay, because I am having fun. So that's all that really matters for me. As long as I'm still having a good time. All right, let's, let's do a little bit of spreading of this. And then uh, of course, like towards the edges, there are spots that they're pretty dry, or they're pretty um, bare right now. They don't have the pigment in them. So towards the end here, I'll be able to go through with just a little rubbing alcohol on my finger, spread it, dry it, and it'll look good. But yeah, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. And now we have a boysenberry. I don't know what a boysenberry is. Do you guys know what a boysenberry is? I mean, it's some form of purple, according to Ranger. Oh, that is a cool little purple. It's kind of like a violet. All right, so we're just working, working it in. Maybe a little more alcohol so we can Kind of thin out that color just a little bit more. We'll take it into the the other purple. That's a cool purple right there. I like that. All right. And let's see. What are you doing over here, huh? Let's blend it a little bit. Get some color mixing going on. That's really nice. I like that. further help it move around I'll just blend it even more because why not can't hurt anything but yeah I'm not really paying much attention to uh, much of all anything really it just Putting these colors down in layers, trying to see what works, what doesn't work. Like, I've never done this before, so. I figured I'd record it. I was gonna do this regardless, but I wanted to take you guys along on the ride. All right, so that was boysenberry. Now we can work into our reds a bit. We have a watermelon. So 
And if you guys know me, you know how I feel about red. I love it. Absolutely love reds. So let's give it plenty of alcohol right there. And we'll just spread it around. I'm using a different finger because the other one has a ton of blues and purples and all kinds of really dark colors. And I'm gonna let them blend. I just, I wanna help them. All right, yep, that's cool. Nice haze of purple going through it. This one seems much more transparent than the rest. Let that purple kind of travel off into it a little bit. And there we go, got it to the edge there. And let's, yeah, we could let the purple bleed into it a little bit. And then we'll dry it out. Yeah, it is beating up though. So that's, I'm not exactly sure what causes that. But maybe if I, maybe I'm just not drying it fast enough. That might be part of the problem. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool already. I'm really liking the abstract nature of it. It's super cool. All right, that's cool. So that was watermelon. Then we have a crimson. So let's put this little crimson. I'm assuming it'll be a much deeper red. Oh, that's like almost like red wine. Man, that's beautiful. All right, so while I'm doing that, let me take the heat gun and just help it flow but also stop it from beating. There's no alcohol on that part. Let me just pour some. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. That's a really rich red. I like that a lot. It's gonna dry really nice and like deep. It's gonna be a gorgeous red, yeah. I like it's doing like a little, like a bloom pour almost in the center. That's really cool. All right, let me get this back where it needs to be. There we go. And if I attack it from like multiple angles, it helps create that really interesting like dried patterning. Wow, that's a that is a beautiful red, you guys. I love that one. All right, what do we got next? Red pepper. All right, we'll do a red pepper. It's more orange, probably. Whoops, that was a lot. That was a lot. I don't want it to reactivate everything. Definitely need more ink. All right. That's cool, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, let's see. Definitely reactivating some of these other colors because I'm smart and used a whole lot of alcohol, like a lot, far too much. Right now I'm just trying to keep the majority of that puddle together. 
I might let it flow down a little bit, and that's okay. I'm trying to keep, it's actually kind of helping me a little bit because it's, it's letting me blend, which that's awesome. Okay, so if I use the heat gun as I dab with my finger, it kind of puts that, it dries it on the surface enough to where it's uh, stuck there. Goodness gracious, you guys, I used far too much alcohol. Yeah, I like that color though. It's very reddish orange but the blue mixing with it, it we're getting some hues of brown in there and that's pretty cool i'm also working on a very strange surface it's uh not flat at all <laughs> so all right so there's that what else do we got should probably be putting caps back on there no actually from what i read the caps are okay to not have on there all right. Gumball. That sounds like it's going to be a pretty pinkish kind of color. Let's use a considerable amount less alcohol. So I don't think we need too, too much of it. Oh, that's a cool color. We have that other red kind of just poking its head in here. All right. Well, that's a cool pink, yeah. That's really pretty. I wasn't sure if I wanted to like record this or not, but I feel like a lot of people decorate for the holidays, but I don't see a lot of people doing window treatments and stuff like that. And this is something that you could apply. And I'm fairly certain you know, after the holiday's over, if you wanted to remove it, you probably could have a whole closet full of these different color palettes. And when, you know, the holiday changes, you do a different color palette. You know what I mean? All right, and we got Senorita Magenta. Either that or Ember first. I don't know, I think Ember. Because then this is kind of hewing off into a magenta color so all right let's do this all right got that going it almost looks the same as the other color doesn't it that's a lot of alcohol johnny bro You know, everybody makes mistakes, and you know, I'm I'm not exempt from making errors in any way. I make tons of mistakes all the time. But it is, I think I said it before, alcohol inks are super forgiving. You make a mistake, you just take your rubbing alcohol, and you basically erase it. I'm making sure it's just drying towards that edge over here so we don't have to come back to that one necessarily later. Yeah, we've got so much right there. Hold on. There's too much. Too much color. Let me move some of this off. Look at that. You basically, you just erase it. So that's one reason I'm enjoying the alcohol inks because I do make mistakes frequently. And then this does, it just, it won't ruin the entire product. Well, now I don't have enough alcohol.
add a little bit more, get some stuff going on. Mm-hmm. A little bit more. Right there. And you just reactivate it. And then pause it to do whatever you want it to do. So yeah. Yeah, this is act actually really cool. I hope that everything goes as planned. But if it doesn't, you know, I'll let you guys know for sure. All right, so got a ton of reds right there. Where's the medium magenta? We'll start working our way that way with that one. And some alcohol. Pop. Maybe a little bit. All right, so we are getting better at this. So I know I need to dry these edges as I apply it. That's crazy how much that color kind of just shifts as it dries. It's really kind of interesting. There we go. Got that spot dry. Maybe we'll bring it up a little bit. And dry the edges, because you see they're trying to, it's trying to bead back up. We're not gonna let it. And we'll do what we can to stop it anyway. Oh man, that's pretty. That's a really nice magenta. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now where are we at? Working into our yellows. Yellow and red. Yeah, that'll create some pretty cool color combinations. All right, so let's see. This is... Sun bright yellow. And a heater. And a cleaner finger. So since this is doing what it's doing, I'm probably going to add more yellow above it. Because this one is kind of creating a gradient of an orange. And while that looks pretty nifty, I do want yellow in here. So I will probably force a little bit of yellow to have to stick around. There, I'll just reactivate that and then move it around a bit. All right, let's see. Where's this yellow at again? There it is. So we'll try to contain a lot of that. might do is I might let it let this section dry and then just take a couple spots of it and place it in the center section here but this is making a really cool like stained glass it's actually wicked cool I love it all right so let me add it now. That, I wish this was more flat. There's probably a way I could have done that, but I didn't, so. 
just a little bit because I want to move all this around, reactivate some of these colors, but I don't want it to take over all into that yellow. There we go. Blend some of that. Have it going in there. This thing is already kind of stunning. I love this. All right, let me take a little alcohol in my pinky right here. We're gonna move some of this and dry it so we don't have bare spots. I mean, I guess a few spots letting pure light through, not a big deal. All right, so now we got a sunshine yellow. Dang, I've been recording 30 minutes already. I didn't, that does not look yellow, my friend. It <laughs> just doesn't. I don't know what kind of yellow that is. Yeah, we're about to get into some greens. Mm-hmm. Very, very excited and ready for that. All right, that's cool, man. Let's see, what sun bright yellow. Let me just take this yellow and continue up top. Yeah, I'll just use my thumb now because we're running out of fingers. I'm going to have to wash them. I think for the first one of these I did, I should have probably did like a smaller window. But, you know, I like that, that's cool. All right, so we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, and greens. Let's see, this is a botanical from Ranger. Curious, what is that gonna look like? Well, I mean, I could take and mix the yellow with my green because those don't have any bad interactions. There we go. Let's just make it nice beautiful green there. You see I'm going around the edges. I'm trying to make sure that it's sticking to the edges so I have less work on the back end to do. And this is rainforest green. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Before it goes crazy, let me control it just a little. Take it to the edge again and trying to 
It's trying to beat up again. But it's a simple fix, really. Just pour a little bit more on there. I think it might just be certain colors that have a harder time on uh, plastic, but I would imagine this isn't as non-porous as Yupo paper would be. So, I mean, I would think that it would be doing the same thing on Yupo, right? Or am I crazy? taking the alcohol as I need it because it's still trying to beat up which it's kind of driving me batty over here it'll be alright grab some of that bring it in there quickly try to dry it same here. If I don't give it the opportunity to beat up, it won't. I imagine I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit for you guys, because this is as beautiful as it is. It's long. But, all right, so, let's spread this one around. Take it up into the corner. Take it up into that green that was so stubborn earlier. Still stubborn. You know, one thing I didn't think about is maybe the oils from my finger are causing that. You never know, like it could be something just that easy. I would think that would not be what it is, but just from the nature of alcohol, I would think that something that simple wouldn't work. I would think that it would break down the oils in your skin and cause that to not be a thing, but I have been wrong once in my life before, but don't ask my wife because she'd tell you the truth. Oh yeah, that's... We are getting close to the end. <laughs> and then, like, you're just gonna, you're basically gonna see it on my window, which that's gonna be dope. All right, and this is citrus, which sounds like a yellow, but it looks like a green. So maybe it's just a really pale green. It is kind of a pale green. It's kind of cool though. I like that color. That's a good color. It's kind of like a... To me, it looks like a pickle. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy, but kind of giving me pickle vibes. Oh Lord, look at that. He's trying to supremely beat up on me. We're still gonna, I'm gonna try to coax it to not do that, but man. Let's see. 
Give you just a small amount of a different green. Because green is green. Yeah, and we're just taking it where we want it to be. And then everywhere that's still trying to beat up, we just get it wet again and then dry it immediately. You guys, these colors are super nice together, really. I love these. All right, now we got an orange, which I'm probably gonna put here, and then I might just extend that magenta out. And then I gotta go around the edges, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do that. Let's see what's going on with this orange. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Now, what does orange and green do? Probably makes the brown. That's what I'm kind of getting. Actually trying to just blow the excess off the edge so that maybe that'll help us with this little beating up issue see the orange didn't really do it there's a couple spots that you know could use some extra love but all in all the orange really did not cause anything crazy all right so let's see this is that magenta right this is medium magenta. Did I not use this color? Oh no, it's the base of Reese inks, that's why. Well, I'll give him another shot, we'll see. We'll see if it's the brand or, or what. Doesn't seem to be. Maybe it was just that color. Bring some more of this down here. As I splatter alcohol ink all over my workstation. No, at least it's a pretty mess. All right. That's gorgeous. Wow. A little bit of alcohol there. You guys, I love this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the edges that are bare and take those specific colors and fill those corners in. And then the next time you see this, it's gonna be hanging up in that window, but oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. This thing came out so much better. And I thought it would, like the video is even having a hard time capturing all the colors in this thing. Kind of acts as almost a privacy window too, so that's awesome. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.